So in podcast listeners, I know that we've talked about inflation before. Well, get this. California, their gas taxes rose again this summer. Again, in California, the nation's highest, highest gas prices currently at $4.28 per gallon on average. But by the way, that, that, that doesn't include Los Angeles, which of course it's much higher. And San Francisco, which of course means it's much higher. But just the average gas price in California is $4.28 per gallon, the highest in the United States. We have several clips on this. And if you want to know and understand how to gut the middle class, this is how you do it. And California has done a great job because it's increasingly becoming the land of the super rich and the poor because the middle class is being gutted. And this is one of the major reasons. First up, here's a clip from KUSI News Reporting on this matter. Here it is. It's one of the many reasons that more people are leaving California than arriving. We used to be number one for all the right reasons. These days, we're number one for all the wrong reasons. California is number one in a lot of things, and this is one of them. We have the highest gas tax of any state in the nation. Not only the highest state taxes, now at 51 cents a gallon, but when you add the hidden fees and the federal taxes, all of us are giving the government $1.19 for every gallon we buy in California. The highest taxes and some of the worst roads. We're not number one and worst. We're number two. We're the second worst set of roads in terms of road maintenance of any state in the nation, which is spectacular when you look at how much we pay. And in California, we currently have the highest overall gas prices in the country, even higher than Hawaii. 428 per gallon on average across the state of California and the second worst roads in the country. And by the way, that's called infrastructure. <laughs> OK, there's no such thing as human infrastructure. There's infrastructure, and infrastructure deals with roads and bridges. And in California, they are falling apart. Second worst in the country, but yet you pay more there than anywhere else in taxes when you buy gas. And so this is one of the reasons why conservatives have been against stimulus bills to bail out blue states who refuse to fix the fundamental structural problems in their economies, which end up destroying roads, not properly taking care of bridges and roads and their infrastructure, generally speaking. And California, of course, is a wealthy state. I mean, they have a budget surplus despite COVID. And I guess the question is, when you have a budget surplus despite COVID, why are your roads still falling apart when you have the highest gas taxes in the nation by far and the highest prices for gas by far? So here's a great comparison. Here's Arizona versus California. We have that clip and here it is. The truth is that some stations in Arizona are half the price of California. Take a look at this. Up in L.A., up to $6 a gallon. When you spend $125 to fill up your tank, that gets your attention, especially if you're from out of state. $125 to fill up your tank. Can you, I mean, how angry would you be in the state where you live if you drove up to the gas station and your needle on your gas gauge was close to E. And by the time you left, it was $125 to fill up your gas tank. You would be absolutely livid and you'd be ready to take the heads off of politicians. But in California, this continues. And what the result has been is you have basically a middle class that is getting smaller and smaller. And the wealthy, uber wealthy, of course, is indeed growing. And the poor are growing as well. And so naturally, you have migration from California to other states. Well, here's a great example. Here's a resident of Texas who traveled to California. She was filling up her tank in California, and she has a couple of comments to make about this. We have that clip, and here it is. Definitely a lot cheaper in Texas. Uh, anywhere between two to three dollars, depending what part of Texas you are. Um, almost four, five dollars is a lot of money to put into this truck. Um, obviously, over there it was more affordable. And this is one of the reasons why, compared to California at a dollar nineteen taxes per gallon, Texas is only thirty-eight cents a gallon with some of the best roads. 
Considering California is now sitting on a massive surplus, people are wondering why yet another tax hike. Yeah, more taxes for gasoline in California. They have a surplus in California. So California keeps taking in that money from the gas taxes, which continue to rise. And yet the roads continue to deteriorate and not be maintained. And this is because in states like California and in other blue states, the government is always hungrier and hungrier for revenue. That tax revenue comes into the government's coffers and the government then uses that money to pay off the poor so that the poor will remain, of course, loyal to the Democrat Party and continue to vote for them. And so then you have this vicious cycle. So if you want to see how to destroy the country, just watch how they're destroying California. Because while it may be true that California creates these phenomenally successful and revolutionary type country, uh, companies, and they do. I mean, California, there, there's incredible innovation there. That is a fact. And they've created this wealth themselves. That is a fact. It's also true that they're destroying their economy because they're failing to understand that you need a strong middle class. And when, when you increase gas tax, it's the point that the average price per gallon is four twenty eight. dollars But in Los Angeles, in that, that last clip, the gas prices were five fifty five dollars per gallon, almost $6 per gallon, because they showed a, a picture of that, $5.55 per gallon. You have gutted the middle class. You can't do that. The middle class relies on their transportation to get to their job. They deserve to have a car if they want to have a car. You don't have a right to deny them transportation, which is precisely what you're doing. And of course, the rich, you know, they're not going to give up their Porsches. No, they're not going to give up their, you know, their Benzes and they're not going to give up their Rolls Royces. Of course not. They're not affected by these prices. They're meaningless. And so in California, it just continues. The middle class gets smaller. The rich, of course, get richer. And you have more and more poor people, including people coming across the border illegally. And you're creating even more. So anyway, 